The Terry and Hunter Cooking Show. Why are we doing this? Have it all. all right, cut. And we're rolling. Hey, what's up? Um, Mom is running the water while I do the intro. There we go. Welcome back to, we don't have a name for this yet. We already shot one video, but I left the television on the entire time in the background, so we can't use any of it. It's still quarantine month three. three. Staying at my parents' house for the quarantine because my apartment in Manhattan is very small. My parents have been so nice to let me come back for a bit. How's that been going so far? Lovely. I can't plug this in because you're Right, she can't plug it in because the lights are plugged in. Anyway, say hello quick. Hello quick. I don't know if you're in frame. Oh. All right, so today we're going to be making farmer's cheese with milk. Whole that's milk. That's what's whole, one of the ingredients. Farmer's cheese apparently means that it's not aged because on a farm you just make it need it. Made that up. Um, <laughs> we're gonna add some fresh herbs. We got some cheesecloth, vinegar. It seems very simple. We've never done it before. Oh, you got real vinegar. Yeah. I like this one better. Oh, that's Christmas. It's a Gatorade bottle that says vinegar on it. I love cheese. I basically live off of it. I'm curious to see if we can make some good Farmer's cheese. Why is this wet? Because this is wet, I'm washing it. Not so great. Sorry. So we'll see how it goes and it might take overnight. I haven't read through the directions fully yet. Here we go. My mom has a little garden that she planted a week ago and for some reason she thinks there's already going to be stuff growing in it. Go check. Go I'm going to go check for some herbs. Dill. Because we're going to put dill and garlic and maybe basil. Going to the garden. Oh my god, look at this bunny! So many bunnies in my parents' backyard. Anyway, here's the garden. Scallions, classic black eggplant, dill, that's what I need, spearmint, Italian, great, that's really descriptive, Italian oregano, hot pepper, Tabasco, red sweet bell pepper, Juliet, Sliced uh, beefsteak, Terry. She's gonna open up her own farm. Okay, so we got the dill. I mean, it's still like looks like a baby dill. I don't know if I should. If it's too early to, I'm just gonna take a little bit off. A little snipperuski. I don't know why, but picking fresh herbs make me makes me feel so like like homegrown. Like, hey Chuck, just living off the land back here. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, everything's store bought. I don't know, did you read the directions? Is this what you're supposed no. to do? Oh, great, okay. But I don't know if we're supposed to chop it up, but you didn't even let me read. You have to chop it up. You're gonna get a piece like this? Stop. Is that the right end? <laughs> what do you mean you don't know? Why are you putting it in there? It smells really good. It smells like an onion. Yeah. I, I, well, yeah. I thought it was this end. I don't know, you look it up. Great. Do you think you're only supposed to eat the roots? <laughs> of the scallion? I don't know. That's where the flavor is. What's this, all garbage? We decided to use dill and scallion roots because we don't know which end of the scallion you're supposed to put in, but we didn't look it up. It's not letting me follow Do the it. recipe of the ingredients. Do it. it! says I'm too slow. Okay, so we want to gather the ingredients. We have milk, white vinegar, salt, I gotta get that, and freshly cut herbs. Use a thermometer. Oh, well, we don't have a thermometer. I feel like that's important. You'd be surprised what I have. Okay. How much vinegar do you need? Is this for a turkey? I don't know. We have a quarter cup of vinegar. Where's the cool yeah. Oh, it's on the other side. Put that on the table. Nope, that's a third. What, why are we doing this? Why don't we just do this as it goes? Yeah, why don't we? Cut. I can't get this damn camera to stay in here. I'm trying to get the milk shot. Uh, if this falls. All right, we got the milk cam going. We're gonna do two batches. Each batch, each batch needs half a gallon of milk. So we're gonna do a half a gallon. The word we're gonna mess it up. Half a gallon of this. Is this pot clean? There's like pasta in the bottom of it. Huh? There's pasta in the bottom. There's a little noodle in there. <laughs> you just spilled. Oh no! The light just spit in my mouth. Half a gallon. You gonna pee your pants? Just a piece of pasta. There's a little piece of pasta in there. Clean the pasta flakes out. A half a gallon. So I guess I just eyeballed it. No, no, that's more than half. Yeah. The top is smaller. Bring the milk to a slow boil. Wait, you can just put it in. If you're using a thermometer, the temperature will read around 190. Oh, it's a good temperature. That. So we're gonna check the temperature. My mom found this, probably hasn't been used in about 15 years. Oh, it's going up. It stopped at 140, so. We gotta be at 190 and it's only at 140 right now. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Is it 
my handy duty Christian Is it praise. children's scissors? That I cut hair with and she's caught. So my Good mom job. has her cosmetology license where she did, and she cut my, me and my dad's hair and she had the real actual scissors to cut our hair, but they wouldn't work. So she used children's Fisher Price scissors. They did the job. Well, we don't look too close, but um. All right, we're almost there. We're getting to one, see, I don't know if you can see the foam forming on top. Temperature is almost to 190, it's about 180. So, oh, is it, is it one? Oh, it's at 190. Okay. So now we're gonna add the vinegar and it's supposed to curdle. I'm excited about this part. Oh, oh that would have been so much better if it was like that before. Look for the curds. Stir it. I'm stirring it. I see. Oh, wow. Look how quick. Wow. Wow. What if I did the whole cooking show like this? You only saw my TV. Now you have to let it sit for 15 minutes. All right. We're going to do this and let it sit for 15 minutes and then read the directions. Have you ever worked on such a finely produced cooking show before? Oh, no. I can't beat this. Well, have you ever worked on any cooking show? No. Oh, so, so this is the best. Look at this lighting. It makes, it's like it's like nostrils and eyes. <laughs> get in there. Get in there. Look at my nails. I can't get my heel manicured. <laughs> It's working in the other room. All right, that sat for 15 minutes. I'm gonna add the herbs. My mom is already on to the next thing. She's, what are you making? A uh, hot and sour soup. Couldn't even finish the cheese. So I'm gonna pour these in now. Mix them up. And after this, it says that I am supposed to pour this over a colander, how do you pronounce it? Colander? Colander. <laughs> Pour it over the colander, and then the whey, which is the uh, yellowish parts of this, is gonna separate from the curds, or as I read earlier, separate the turds from the whey. So now I'm gonna take, oh, get a pot holder. Put it down. No, it's not hot. I got it, I almost dropped it. Now I'm gonna take the curds and whey and put them into this, and the, oh, what? I just tripped it. So I'm gonna pour this slowly in. Mm -hmm. Is it gonna make that much? It makes like a lot. That's good. No, because remember, we're gonna squeeze the hell out of this. Mm -hmm. And then the next step is we're gonna take this and squeeze the cheesecloth around it. Get all the- Careful, it's gonna be hot, right? Oh, it is. Is, is there a hole in this? No. Why is it coming through like that? I don't know. There is a hole. Let's, let's double it. Wrap it around. Damn it. All right. Okay, so now we got two cheesecloths. I don't think you're supposed to do that, but we had a hole in ours. And it says to twist it and squeeze. Oh, that's still pretty freaking hot. And now it says that you can add more whey back in if you want it to be creamier. Why would we do that when we just took it out? Okay. Mm. Looks no. like, uh... When do you add the salt? I think you're supposed to try it. Yeah, it's like a bland cream cheese. We're not even gonna check how to do it. No. This is a lot of salt. That's what it said. Mm, that one's good. Oh God. <laughs> okay, now squeeze it out again. Now we're gonna take the cheese, put in between two plates and squeeze it. Squeeze it around here like this. And then let it sit in the fridge for an hour. Just took the cheese out of the fridge. It was in there for about um, three hours. It was only supposed to be there in one, but we were cooking up a store. We're making egg rolls, hot and sour soups, whips and dips. So I'm gonna let this unspin. Lump of farmer's cheese. Yippee, I okay. Yeah. Make it look nice. Oh, screw it. <laughs> Moment of truth. You gonna try some, Mom? Sure. Ooh, it's chunky. Maybe we should use a knife to. Mm. 
creamier feta. Mm. Right? Yeah. Or creamier feta. It's just a little salty. So this is the product. Okay, next time maybe we'll add crushed pepper or something else. But that's it. We made our first farmer's cheese. <laughs> Bye. Oh, wow, oh, whoopsie, it's getting crazy in Terry's quarantine kitchen. Egg rolls on deck. What else? What else? Egg rolls. Egg, Egg rolls on deck. What else is on deck? Dumplings. Dump. We got dumplings on deck. Open up a curbside kitchen curbside pickup. Should we do egg rolls next? Yeah.